hello guys you are welcome to my channel and in today's episode i'm going to teach you guys how to um let your a plugin or effect that have been installed on the computer show in cubase 5 and also be able to save presets so that you you don't waste time whenever you are recording or mixing so that you don't waste any time during that process so without wasting much time let's get into it but first of all let's just start with um how to make sure that a plugin in a plugin or effect which have been installed in a computer can what be shown in Cubase 5. So first of all, you have to go to your, where your plugin have been installed. Make sure you know where it is. It has been installed. So let's say this is my computer. I come to my drive C. It has been installed in drive C. So let's say I'm using a Valhalla. If you come to this side and you want a Valhalla pl plugin and you can't find it there, like my own have been done already. So probably you can see it. So if you own whether file filter, wave, sound toys or any plugin that slit digital or anything that you've been installed and you can't find it there for mixing and other stuffs. The thing that you're supposed to do is um first of all you're supposed to find where the plugin was installed. So you search for it over here. So when you're installed, you make sure that you know wherever it is being installed. So let's see the Valhalla. It is here. If you come to the drive C then you find it at VST plugins. If I don't want Valhalla and let's say I'm using um what do we call it? Um I come to VST here, then I'm looking for a slate digital or let's say Nexus. I want to let the Nexus appear there. No, I know that my Nexus is in C, then I come to VST plugins, then I, I come also here. So let's use the Valhalla for example. So I'm using the Valhalla. Let's say my Valhalla can be shown there. So now I know that it is in C and VST plugin, so I will come back to Cubase. Then make sure I come to devices. You come to plugin information. Then you just come to VST and you get it. You get the VST um, two times um, plugin part. So you just click on it. This um, pop up menu will appear. So you just click on add. Then you search for where um, the plugin is. You search for where your plugins are and the effect have been installed. So I'm using Valhalla, so I'll just come to VST. You see, I, I went to C, my local disk C, then I moved to what, VST, because that's where we can really find our hot Valhalla uh, plugins. So VST plugin, I can find my Valhalla and other stuff there. So for me to be able to make sure that this plugin is showing there, so I'll just click this, then I'll click what, OK. Because I've added it already, I, I need not to do it again. So C plugins. This is it. I've already added it. So here is it. You can see it here. C plugins V VST plugins what FL VST. I have you seen it? This is it. C VST plugins. This one right now. Please not this. VST plugin. So because I've already added it, I need not to add it again. So if you have not added it, you just click on add, then search for where you can find your plugins. This then you click on hot. Okay. It will be added here. After that, then you click on this okay. Alright. Then after you have finished clicking that OK, then you just have to what, update it. If you update it and you just go through it, you see that your Valhalla or the plugin that you want it to be shown in Cubase would be there for you. So looking for my Valhalla, Valhalla. So here is it. Here is the Valhalla stuff. It has already been added. That's why. So that is the way, the only way, and the best way to, I mean, add a plugin or effect or even your drums and other stuffs so that you can use it in terms of mixing and other other stuffs over here. So that is the first method here. How to make sure a plugin or effect installed on your computer will show in Cubase 5. So thank you. So let us move to the next one. For you to be able to save a preset, let's say I've recorded something. Yeah, hello, yeah, yeah, hello, hello. I've recorded something with this and um, I want to mix. I've recorded something like this and I want to mix it. And for me to be, uh, for me not to waste a lot of time by adding my EQ, adding a compressor, um, adding a EQ and adding a compressor, adding the, um, what do we call it? Let's say the other, um, you know them the effect so let's say only this three effects for me not to be wasting time doing a whole lot of this 
I have to save it for the next maybe project or in case I'm doing another project, I have to make sure that I do it in the fast and the quickest, uh, quickest way. Sorry, the fast and the quickest way so that I wouldn't be wasting time. So what I have to do is I, I just have to click on this edit channel settings on that uh, channel. So I click on it. This will appear here. Then I'll just right click on this. If I right click on this, then I just have to move to what save selected channel then the preset you just name it the kind of name you really want to name so d d w e so this was let me just name it demonstration so i'll just shorten it to be demo then i save it so if i want to put the same preset on another channel like this i need not to be loading them one uh, one after the other i just have to come to edit then right click on this then come to load then I I save it what demo this is I just right click on it this will be there so this is how you're supposed to save a preset for the next project or any project in the future all right so thank you for watching and if you like my video you like whatever I taught you over here please make sure you subscribe to the channel mr. producer your time will never be wasted my time too will never be wasted I'm out